speedsters, aliens, magicians, metahuman oddballs, the Arrowverse has grown considerably since its debut in 2012. But there's still some major DC characters we haven't seen, and some we've just seen briefly. From Batman to Wonder Woman to Green Lantern, these are our favorite DC superhero cameos and hints in the Arrowverse. Besides Ra's al Ghul, most of the major Batman villains have been off limits on Arrow. But you ain't stopping Harley Quinn pudding. She makes a brief cameo appearance in the season two Suicide Squad episode, offering help to the Diggles as they work through their relationship troubles. Best of all, frequent Harley voice actor Tara Strong provides the voice for this scene. Do you cuties need some counseling? I'm a trained therapist. The closest we've gotten to seeing a Green Lantern in the Arrowverse came in Arrow's Season 4 premiere. A flashback set in a Coast City bar kicks off with a close-up shot of a patron wearing a flight jacket with the name Jordan emblazoned on it. That has to be Hal Jordan. Whether this is pre- or post-induction into the Green Lantern Corps is anyone's guess, though. Barry Allen may not be a speedster on Earth 2, but he seems to have a few superhero friends on speed dial. The Flash episode Welcome to Earth 2 features an old-fashioned phone with several interesting names printed on it, including Bruce, Diana, and Hal. That's basically a full-fledged Justice League right at Barry's fingertips. Does Batman actually exist in the Arrowverse? The jury is still out for now, but thanks to Arrow Season 6, we know there's a Bruce Wayne. Oliver Queen name drops Gotham City's most famous billionaire orphan even as he tries to convince the press he isn't the Green Arrow. They could have put Bruce Wayne's head on that body. Has Bruce Wayne left Gotham to hang out in Star City recently? Given her massive popularity on the big screen these days, we're almost surprised that Wonder Woman hasn't been added to the Arrowverse. Although perhaps her cinematic popularity is the reason Warner Brothers is being stingy. But at least her home island of Themyscira shows up in Legends of Tomorrow as Zari brought Helen of Troy to live among the Amazons and transform from damsel in distress to butt-kicking heroine. We always get a kick out of seeing classic DC TV actors taking on new roles in the Arrowverse, and that's especially true true for former Wonder Woman Linda Carter as President Olivia Marsden on Supergirl. This season two episode pays homage to Carter's DC legacy by alluding to Wonder Woman's iconic invisible jet, even if we can't see it. You ought to see my other jet. Given that she's the designated tech support for Team Arrow and grapples with paralysis for a time, Felicity Smoke shares a lot in common with Barbara Gordon. So much so that Felicity almost steals Barbara's Oracle code name in season four. In this episode, Green Arrow bestows the Overwatch mantle upon Felicity. Overwatch, we're on site. Excuse me? It's gonna go with Oracle, but it's taken. Is it too much to hope for an Overwatch Oracle crossover? This one is a bit more of a stretch. None of the Arrowverse shows directly reference the characters or mythology of Neil Gaiman's Sandman saga. However, one Arrow episode features a flashback of a younger Felicity decked out in full goth mode, her black hair, black tank top, and Ankh Medallion all strongly harken back to death as she's portrayed in Sandman and its various spin-offs. This seems to be an intentional visual homage. Whether it's a sign of more Sandman references to come remains to be seen. Multiple characters from different branches of the multiverse have mentioned the underwater kingdom of Atlantis, aka the realm ruled by Aquaman. But I do love Atlantis. And then the lost city submerged in the ocean somewhere. On Earth 2, Atlantis never actually sank beneath the ocean, and that world's Barry Allen even bought his parents tickets to visit the island. Thank you so much for the anniversary tickets to Atlantis. Wonder Woman may have yet to appear in the Arrowverse, but one of her most iconic foes definitely exists there. Near the end of The Flash Season 3, Barry teams up with Captain Cold to sneak into an Argus facility. Among other things, they encounter a locked prison cell containing the deadly Cheetah, who apparently once served on Amanda Waller's Suicide Squad. Well, did we miss any cool DC cameos? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to check out our explainer on how Thawne is still alive on The Flash and the 14 DC characters who need to join the Arrowverse. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.